Now, what if you want to go back to the ng far? This is great when you have individual components and you don't have the component inside an ng far, right? You don't have a loop. In that case, you can give each of these components a unique name and then look that up in your parent component, which is great. But what if it's inside an ng far? Get rid of this here and put back our ng far. Can I use a template reference variable here? Let's say I do this, hash tile. You technically can, but you're gonna result, it's gonna result in a problem because you see here now you have four instances of the blog post tile component and they're all having this name of tile. And in my parent component, I just have one member variable. How does this work? Now what happens when I click on this? It just expands the first one. Now, what if I wanna expand everything? I wanna access to all these ones as well, right? So this is not the ideal way of doing this. I want kind of like an array of all these instances that have been tagged with tile. How do I get that? When you have multiple such template reference variables, Angular can inject a wrapper around those so that you can parse through them and loop through them. The wrapper is of type query list. So you can accept query list. And then what you're going to get out of this is a list of those component instances. I'm going to, I'm going to show you how you can parse through them, but this query list is actually a generic type and you can, the type of the generic is basically what the type of your individual instances are. In this case, it's blog post tile component. You can import query list. From Angular Core. And then one last thing I need to do is it's not a view child anymore. I want Angular to inject the list of children. So I'm, I'm going to use another annotation called view children. Now view children is going to get that query list that we have declared and put it into this variable. And now I'm going to change this name. It's going to be a blog post style components because it's not a single component anymore. I'm doing a couple of things here. First is I'm saying view children to tell Angular that this is a list and not an individual element. And then when I do that, Angular is gonna give me a query list and not the individual component. And now with the list, I can loop through the list and call show full summary on each of them. So I'm gonna go here and this is not true anymore. I cannot call the show full summary on this thing. What I can do instead is call the for each method. This is a list now. So you can call the for each method. And for each element in that list, I know that that's a blog post tile component. I can call the show full summary on that and press save. And now what's going to happen is Angular is going to take each of these elements inside the ng far and populate the blog post tile components member variable with a query list of those elements. And then I'm when I click on expand all, I'm looping through them and it is going to expand all of the elements inside that array. So this is how you can get access to either individual child elements, if there is just one or multiple different individual child elements, or if the element happens to be inside a loop where you cannot really give a unique name to each instance, you can give a, a template reference variable to the inside the loop itself, and then you can use the view children to get a list of all those component instances.